welcome this is the continuation of our experiment skeletal muscle where we work on the nerve and muscle tissue to investigate some properties of skeletal muscle and to achieve this we use the frog gastrocnemius muscle sciatic nerve preparation and we force a start with simple muscle twitch and before we start the experiment we force a fall establish a threshold stimulus using graded responses by gradually increasing at the strength of stimulus until we're able to get a minimum strength of stimulus that is able to give us a response which is our threshold stimulus a threshold stimulus is the minimum strain of stimulus that is just sufficient to produce a response while sub threshold stimulus is weaker than a threshold stimulus and is unable to produce a response a maximal stimulus this is the stimulus that can excite muscle fibers to contract maximally and no amount of further increase in strength of stimuli can increase height of contraction. Submaximal stimulus are weaker than a maximal stimulus. Supramaximal stimuli are stronger than a maximal stimulus. And to calculate this, the formula for supramaximal voltage is equal to maximal voltage times 1.5. Other formulas can multiply the maximal voltage by two times. But this is what we use for our experiment. These are our graded responses, and we use various degrees of stimuli to obtain these responses. So, from sub threshold stimulus, where there is no response, to a threshold stimulus, and these are our sub maximal stimulus, and then we have our maximal stimulus. So we are going to perform some analysis to extract some values onto our table and then use them to plot the graph. Shortly, I will show you how to go about that. You can see 0 0.05 volts, and this is our point of stimulus. This 0 0.05 volts can be converted to millivolt by multiplying 1000, and then you get 50 millivolt. So on our table this is what we get if you multiply 0 0.05 volts by 1000 you get 50 millivolts and continuously that is how to convert the value on our table we are going to be utilizing the marker tool at the bottom uh, left corner here to do our analysis and to do that we are going to bring out our dvm digital voltmeter so this is a marker tool we're going to be utilizing this directly this point so to do our analysis we'll be utilizing the marker tool and we will move to where there is the force receive a minimum response which is our threshold stimulus we're going to drag our marker tool on the waveform and there is another also that is moving on up and down on the wave it's called the waveform cursor on the wave we'll be able to see that the marker tool will determine the difference between the height of contraction from this point to this point uh, 43.43 so these values we're going to impute it on our table 700 millivolt for the threshold stimulus we have 43.43 and continuously we'll go back to our Checked and we move to the next page. Now we adjust our marker to this point 142.23. 142.23. We go back to our data again. Next point, all right, we are there 184.24. 184.24. We go back to our data, move to the next point 186. 186.69 next page 252.64 252.64 231.35 so at 
950 millivolt we have our maximal stimulus which obey the all or none event uh, if you keep on increasing the stimulus it will reach to a point that no matter how much you increase it will not increase in contraction to calculate percentage force of maximum let's start from this value 43.43 43 43.43 divided by the maximal stimulus which is 252.64 and then if we multiply by 100 we got 17.19 so 17.19 as percent as our force percentage of maximum and the same thing here we have 142.23 divided by maximal stimulus 252.64 multiply by 100 we got 56.30 approximately percent continuously that's how you're going to calculate the percentage percentage of maximum and then you plot the graph of force percentage of maximum against stimulus voltage all right next we are going to be calculating the latency period between latency for nerve stimulation and muscle stimulation we did not stimulate the nerve so we are only going to get the twitch latency for muscle stimulation so we are going to look for the threshold stimulus and then we will determine the twitch latency in milliseconds so we are going to drag our marker to and drop it on channel 2 point of stimulus and then we are going to bring out our time in seconds before our marker 2 the value is in minus after our marker 2 is going to be zero upwards so to this point where there is response 0 0.02 seconds if we convert 0 0.02 seconds to milliseconds we multiply by 1000 and we get 20 milliseconds and then for our maximal stimulus we're going to take the period of latency we are at a disadvantage because we did not stimulate the nerve so let's carry drag our marker to this here let's expand the mode so now if we move forward to where the muscles begin to contract yes this is where the muscle begins to contract 0 0.0095 milliseconds 0 0.0095 milliseconds we clear this 0 0.005 milliseconds we multiply by 1000 what do you get 9.5 milliseconds oh great difference 9.5 9.5 milliseconds so there is a great difference between maximal stimulus with this one in your discussion you will be checking your understanding using these questions of course your discussion based on this question of course your discussion based on these questions mm -hmm.